Let's go. All right. Take a look around, make sure nobody's coming. Nope. Not that I see. No. Lights on. We're ready to go. Yeah. Double check my earphones. Okay, we get lined up on center line. I'm using my feet just like we did on the simulator. Oh. Okay. Get full power on it. Use my feet to keep it on center until we get to about 50 or 55. All right, there we go. And we're flying. Yeah. Just pop them off the ground. Okay, let me get that. Turn that wind off your microphone. That's what it is. There we go. Too much wind on your microphone. Okay. The standard traffic pattern, we have to make left turns, so our first turn away is going to be a left. Feel the bumps a little bit. It might get a little bumpier as we get higher. All right. Okay. Traffic, experimental four tank, a pop and turn left, left crosswind runway 27, but it will be doing a left downwind departure. There's a tractor. Where? Down there. Oh, okay. Grandpa's looking for airplanes. Uh -huh. Tractor's not going to hit us. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. If you see a tractor flying, let me know. I'm landing immediately. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's downtown Montgomery. See the big bank building? Yep. We got a little smoke. You see the from all the fires and where they've been burning the underbrush on the on the forest. Oh, we see a little bit of smoke around. There's the casino out there. Remember the big casino? Yeah. And the the, the old uh, sportswear plant that's closed down. The flight's not too bumpy yet. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but you'll feel a few that'll get your attention. Okay. Three five. Remember, it's a bumpy road. That's all it is. All right, I'm going to take the fuel pump off. We don't need that anymore. There's the river. That's the same river where the island was, where we were on just a while ago. So. Okay. We'll go fly out over the town. It might even smooth out a little bit as we get higher. We'll see. Maybe. Everything doing good though. After I get it leveled out and all trimmed out, I'll show you how the how we control the airplane, how we do turns, and how we keep it going straight and such like that. All right. Now, what I want to show you, look at this, and I don't have the autopilot on. It's just trimmed up. Okay. I can let go. Bumps may knock us off, you know, a little bit, but for the most part, it pretty well flies itself. Does this plane have autopilot? Yes, it does. Right here, see that? This control right here? That's cool. And it'll maintain altitude, fly a course for you and everything. But for this little bit of flying, we don't need it. Delta City, traffic clear, five whiskey bravos. Final 2-1, I'll turn that down. I'm mostly hearing airplanes outside of the area. That's yeah, pretty smooth right here, so I'm going to level off here. Yeah. I can see there comes the uh, casino. Yeah. And over here, that's the Lowe's and the Walmart. Those two buildings, the white building you see yeah. closest to it, that's Lowe's, and across the road Walmart. is Walmart, yeah. I see the little sign that says Walmart, it's white. Oh, okay. Now, see, this is the power. This is the engine throttle. So this is how we decide how fast we're going to go, which we're not going to go very fast today. We don't need to. We're mostly interested in just riding. Okay. See the big hotel? Yep. 
and then there's a parking garage on the right side of the yeah, hotel, that, yeah. and then the flat building on the left, that's the real casino, you know, that, it's a yeah. big, big building inside, bet. yes. There's a bump for you. Yeah. <laughs> a little bump. And some more. That's a little tickle bump. <laughs> it's not too bad. I like roller coasters, so. The main thing you want to do is scan. Around the horizon, look for other airplanes. You can see the horizon, that's the, where the ground meets the sky. And that's what you want to be looking for. Any airplanes that are even with that are pretty much at our altitude. So, those are the ones that we want to be, be watching for. And the way we look for airplanes, we call that 12 o'clock straight ahead. It's like putting a clock face down on the airplane. That would be 3 o'clock, that would be 9 o'clock, so. Behind us is six. That's right. Uh, you got it. Just imagine a clock face laying, laying flat. Okay. And there you got it. So that would be one o'clock, two o'clock, or two thirty. Yeah. Just in front of the wing. There you go. So. All right. That's the highway we were on coming through with Tumka last night today. You know the big, big road. Yeah. All right. Let me point it to the north here. Actually, we'll point it back a little, little bit along the river and uh, let you see how it is to control it. Now, notice, um, look, look, look at the kind of grip I have on the, on the stick. It's not very much at all. It's very sensitive. When I want to straighten the airplane out, remember we're using, we're using lift to turn. We bank the airplane. When I want to put it back level, I straighten it out and then reverse it a little bit to hold it, you see. I'm not using any forward or back pressure right now. The airplane's trimmed out pretty well. Yeah, I can let go, and it's not doing anything. And the bumps will upset it a little bit, but you, you got to just, you know, keep it, keep it on. So what I'd like you to do is take your, take your right hand very gently down here near the bottom, just a couple of fingers, and just hold on to it. And then just try to keep the wings level. Don't pull back or forward. Just try to keep the wings level. Level the wings. Look at the horizon out there. You see the horizon? And the other thing you do is look at the wingtips. When that wingtip is the same distance as the other one, from, you know, below the horizon, you're level. You can also cheat and look at this thing. Remember the gauge like in the air, like in the sim? That right there? That'll tell you if you're level. Thank you. Yeah, they never handed us off. Have a good day. You're, you see you're leaning to the right. That's the straight to back out. Beautiful. Okay, so centered up is uh, 2463 is with you at uh, 350. Yeah, they didn't. Now don't pull or push. Just side to side. We'll just kind of relax your hand as far as pulling and pushing. That's it. You don't have to do anything. It'll fix itself. The airplane has natural stability. Let go for a minute and I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I, if I pull the stick back, watch what happens. You see how we climb? And if I let go, look what happens to the nose. Go down. But watch what it does. It's going to go down a little bit. Then it's going to try to come back up all by itself. I, I pulled it up really far there. But it basically takes care of itself. And that's why I say what you want to do is keep a light grip on it so you can feel what you're doing. You notice you don't, have, you don't really move the stick very much. You put pressure on it. And so it's a, it's a very subtle... You know, unless you really want to horse the airplane around, which we don't want to do, right? Okay, let me retrim just a little bit. We're going a little fast. Oh. All right, you try it again. What? Take, take the stick and just move. Try to keep it level. Try to keep it straight. Don't push. You're pushing just a little bit. Now, you can tell the same thing like the wings. The nose has a certain distance below the horizon. You see, when it's level, like right there, it's about level. If it's too if it's too much ground, you see, you're going down. If it's too too little ground, you're going up. And you're going down, and you're banked to the right. So level your wings out. That's good. That's cool. You're doing good. And just. Bring it back over this way. There you go. Keep that. Keep those wings level. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of power. We, we're losing altitude now. We got into some lift back there, so we're losing it. Let me have it just a minute. I'm going to turn, and we're going to climb a little bit. 
want to get you out of the sun so you're not looking at the sun. Kind of hard to see. Remember the lakes with the dam? There are two dams here for hydroelectric electric power. You remember those?
other reason why I want to fly a little bit earlier because that sun is low this time of year and it'll get low fast. Uh, the sun goes down quickly. And, uh, it's hard, and it's hard to see in the evening, in, you know, in the late afternoon when yeah. the sun gets low. It starts to blind you. All right. You know where the airport is? Is it? <laughs> Wait. You see is, that right is there? Is it that? That's it. So we've been over the town of Wetumpka. The airport, even though it belongs to Wetumpka, is actually over Elmore. It's over near the town of Elmore. So we're going to go over that way. We'll uh, we'll do what's called a downwind entry, and we'll do all our turns to the left as a, as we did before. Can we do a touch and go? We'll do touch and goes. Yeah, we'll do a couple of them, and then we'll come back and. Golf cart left. Well, we can go play golf cart, yeah. You can do the video on that. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't bring my camera. That's okay. Well, uh, we don't have to have any evidence if you don't want any. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We're just there to have fun. Really hard to see, but, you know, with the sun and the smoke, but... Yeah, the city's out over that way. When we get a little further west, you'll be able to get better. You can see which way we're heading. The runway is east and west, so we're heading west. That way is just to the west. That's to the north out that way. A little. You can see the dam off the wing tip, one of the small dams. Except for a little bit of smoke and the sun being low, it's a pretty nice day. go down. Remember, we're going to have to reduce power because, you know, this is going to make us go slower, more slowly, and also we need to lose some altitude. You can read this. That'll tell you your altitude. We're about 2,000 feet right now. And we're going to land to the west on the runway down there. So what we're going to do is fly a downwind pattern. We're going to circle around up to the downwind. Our, the, the field elevation is 200 feet above the ground. Remember I set that on the ground? Yeah. Or above the water, rather. 200 feet above sea level. Yeah. So we fly the pattern at 1,200 feet, which is 1,000 feet above the ground. Yeah. See all those silver uh, buildings there? That's the pumping station we just passed a little while ago. Remember yeah. the, the pipeline? There's the gate. Start uh, getting ready for landing here. We're gonna. There's a fire right there. Yep. People burn their trash all the time. So. Yeah, same thing in Georgia. Yep. So I've got the fuel pump on. We've, we've selected the other, the right hand tank because it's got more fuel in it. And we're, we're getting set up for landing. And I'm gonna make a call on the radio here. In just a minute. We're gonna make a call that we're. Uh, on a 45 degree angle, you know, 45 degree to the downwind, which is a standard entry okay. procedure for this is has, this is what's called a non-towered airport. There's no control tower. Okay. You just make advisory calls on the radio, and that's it. Good. You see the the traffic around us. There's all the planes around us? Yeah, that's the, the, you can see them here and there. That's on that screen. I told you I can see all the, the guys on radar. But he's above us. He's 2,500 feet above us, so he's not going to be a problem. And he's climbing and going away from us, so. We'll get the power back there a little more. We're looking for 1,200 feet. There's a grass runway. You see it right there? You've got some YouTube video of me landing in the grass there as well. Stop traffic from middle Fort Tango Papas. Two miles to the south-southwest. It's on 45 for the left L1 runway 27. Okay. Yeah, there's the guy burning his stuff. Yep. All right, we're looking for about 
90 miles an hour for the landing pattern. How fast are we going now? Well, we're going about 89 on, on mine. Yours is a little off. I've got a new one to put in over here. It's, it's, it's been reading off lately, so we're going to replace that one. So we just fly a, a racetrack pattern around the around the airport. It's kind of square, though, or rectangular, rather. Are there any people around us? Uh, one guy is 250,000 feet above us. I'm sorry, 25,000 feet above us. An airliner. Oh. <laughs> we don't have to worry about him. Those numbers are in hundreds of feet. You know, they'll say minus and plus. Okay, we're going to slow the airplane down. This time we're going to do no flaps at all. Practice a no flap, touch and go. Means I got to have a lot less power than last time. No drag. Nope. And then we just wait till we're 
getting ready to line up on the runway. We ought to hear the lady pretty soon. The 500. Yeah. Traffic four take a pop turning mm -hmm. final. Two seven touch and go with Tumka. Yeah, there she was as I was keying the radio. Yep. All right, no, I've got the power all the way to idle. In other words, the engine effectively isn't running right now for all intents and purposes. This is what it would look like if we lost, if the engine were to quit. We could glide somewhere. Hopefully a soft spot to land here. Now look at the far end of the runway and then try to judge how high we are and when the wheels are going to touch. And try to memorize that picture. Belt. Okay. Five. And we're going to touch. Right there. Okay. This time we're going to put some more flaps down on landing. And when we get on downwind, we'll, we'll full stop. Okay. And move to the golf cart. Thanks for taking me out here. You didn't have to. No, this is. I'm having fun too. All right. Traffic, <laughs> traffic, criminal four take a pop up, turning crosswind, runway two seven, close traffic. school down here. I think it's an or elementary or middle school. Look at the playground in the back. It must be elementary. Yeah. Okay, we want to look for other people. Yep. And now we go. Stop the traffic. Stop on a four tank apartment. Turning left down one runway. Two seven. Full stop. We're done. I don't see anyone. Oh. There is a someone way out in the distance, but it's not anybody we're going to do. They're way beyond 12 miles, so we, we won't have a have a problem. The, the runway is only a half a mile long, so just take 24 times that. That's how far away he is. Okay, we're going to start slowing down again. We've got to get below 90 to put the flaps down, my 90 on my side. Magnetic heading of the runway. Nearest, to the nearest 10 degrees. Just drop the zero off. Pretty well idling right now. Got a little high there. Stop the traffic, experimental 4 tank, a pop out, turning to final runway 27, full stop. What's up, guys? Yeah, we should hear the lady on base leg, so. We just did. Yeah, I know, but I should have heard her a little early. I'm a little high right now. But we're correcting. The wind will help us. We have a little wind in our face here. Gonna touch now. Now, no brakes. 
Done? Uh, a little bit now. I, mean, I, I, don't, I have to use the brakes to steer. I'll use it just a wee bit right now. Stop the traffic from Metal 4 Tango Papa, clear the act. Wave at it. 